Hi, it's uh, Dr. G here. I'm at Annie McWilliams' house in the Wedgwood community. I'm sitting here with this beautiful woman who's been through so much um, because of the Rolling Hills landfill. In 2014, um, in our rain event, her home was flooded, and she used to have the most gorgeous garden in her backyard. And... Um, and she recovered from that, and now here we are today, and again, because of the breach of Rolling Hills Landfill, she has lost everything again. Mm -hmm. So, Miss Annie, mm -hmm. what now? I don't know, babe. I really don't. I'm just in a situation, and everybody got a complaint about it. They say the people's in the landfill made a statement on the news that that wasn't causing about the landfill. All that grease and chemicals was in that water. Why it wasn't coming from the landfill? It wasn't coming from me. But they trying to save their butt. That's what they trying to do. And it's just really pitiful me when it's just me. And they killed me this time. So you've lost everything. Everything. Um, are you going to be able to salvage your home at all? I don't know, baby. If they send some money, and I ain't got nothing. I had blood insurance, and they said if I didn't fix it back up, they was going to, I don't know, wasn't going to give me nothing. So I said, I ain't got nothing to fix this house back up with. I can't do it. I did it before. And that's what they want you to do, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They want you to leave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you were an educator for how many years? Here, yeah. oh. 20. I think it round, I came here in September 1995, I believe it was. I've been here ever since. And I didn't know this was a flooded area. I never would have come in it. I could have found, I had land down the road. I could have built me a house on it with what I paid for this. Well, this isn't a flood zone. It became a flood zone. Be when when they sold that pit to these different peoples, when the man had it before, he had a drain at the bottom of that pit going straight down there to that, uh, it's a pond down there where it goes, the water was gone. When they put all that shit out there on that, that, uh, build it up like that, that throwed all the water over here. So it ain't had nowhere else to go. Now they coming up saying it wasn't their fault. It is their fault. Because chemicals are in, you can smell it. Chemicals in it. Everything you touch in here, it was greasy. You had to wash your hand. Every time you put your hand on something, you had to wash it. It was a mess and I ain't had no grease. But I put everything in the trash and set it out there when trash day and let them pick it up. So I don't know how they could lie about all of that. Oh, uh, what do you think the community might do now? Nothing. Nothing. I called Luma Mays. I've been calling him for the last three or four days. And the secretary said he had a meeting. I said, well, you give him this message. I needed him to come out here. I said, ugh. They know it was a flood. Yeah. It, it, it's nearly identical to the one in 2014. That's right. Because I had to put in all the, all the new cabin, the new cabin. And would you believe the bottom out of some of them from that water? Everything turned white. You can look at the cabinets, the chairs. They turned white from them chemicals. How high was the water? It was up here on me. Oh I was went back. I got up at one o'clock that night and took my flashlight and come through and checked everything. It was fine. I said, thank you, Jesus. I said, maybe it went round. And I laid back down and dozed off and went back to sleep. And I went to get up again. And when I took my foot and put it out there like that, I said, oh, Jesus. Where all this young water come from? And I was scared to come out because the water was so high and I was scared I might fall. And I didn't, the door was fastened, but there were people at the door trying to find out was I all right in here. And 
and got me out of here when I finally got up and tried to come down the hole and uh, get to that door to unlock it. Do you know about what time that was in the morning? I didn't even check because it mm. wasn't too long for a day because all of them was out there. A lot of people was out there. You're hoping I was all right in there. I, told them, I was just scared to get up and come through that wall because I can't swim. Mm. And I might have failed because the shape I'm in, you know, I'm sick. And I was doing good, you know, by myself. Now, what can I do now? And everywhere is sky high. What can you do? And I've been trying to locate me a lawyer, good lawyer, not no poop, but lawyer, good one. Uh, I haven't found one.